To all those who fake claimed me, gate kept me, bullied me, and harassed me for having an advanced version of a disorder that stems from a lifetime of abuses you cannot fathom. You have not broken me, and you will never break me. Many have tried. All have failed. Okay, yeah, let's talk about this old one, Bob, because I'm pissed off. People are mad at this TikToker for, quote, faking a disorder. His account, two souls, one bod. Two souls, one bod. Two souls, one bod. Two souls, one bod. Okay, James, how do we prove that we're two people in one body? Well, I mean, I don't think we really have to prove it. The recent trend of people faking dissociative identity disorder on TikTok, DID, or dissociative identity disorder, DID awareness has increased over the past few years, and along with it, there has been a trend developing where people, mostly teenagers, are faking DID on TikTok. With this trend becoming completely out of control in the last few years, a few people on TikTok seem to rise higher than the others in terms of fame, with a lot of them dropping like flies when their accounts inevitably get terminated. One person this happened to was a TikToker called Two Souls, One Bod. Jesse and James, we made a video on this person about two weeks ago documenting the absolutely atrocious things that they've done on the internet. And I'd even mentioned how she had created a new TikTok. Well, you'd be glad to hear since then, she has had that TikTok taken down. So you think that would be the end of Jesse and James. Hi everyone, it's me, Jesse. James is here too, but for the remainder of this video, I'll be the one doing the talking. And if it sounds like I'm reading from a prepared statement, it's because I am. What I want to talk to you about today is too important to wing it. And James is staying in the back seat because ultimately this medical journey is mine and responsibility for our combined actions falls on my shoulders and my shoulders alone. She's now come to YouTube where she's uploaded three videos in the last few months, with the most recent one being a one hour apology video. In this video at the beginning, she starts by saying that just one of them are gonna speak for the rest of this video so it doesn't become confusing, even though that's not how her mental illness would work if she had DID. She also claims that she talks to a doctor and even gets the doctor in the video diagnosing her officially with DID, she claims. I hope I will convince those who simply got mixed up with the wrong crowd and made mistakes and attacked a valid member of the DID community. Even though she plays victim here and claims in the video the reason why you guys are upset is primarily because she was faking in the first place. As I'm sure a lot of you discovered in the last video, that really wasn't the reason why everyone was so angry towards Jesse and James. Some of the things they did were really terrible. Like for example, the Discord teaching minors about certain topics without the parents' consent, promoting adult websites to literally kids, but she seems to just completely forget about that because somehow that isn't what made everyone angry. She's so delusional in her own head that it's about her faking it that like I said, she gets a doctor on this one hour apology video. So it's not really an apology as much as it is, see guys, I was right, you were wrong, feel bad for me. Even though I find in a lot of these circumstances, when someone has been that obsessed with a topic like DID and they claim to have it, even if you don't have it at that point, you already know the right answers to the questions of having DID. <laughs> I don't want to say like mad scientists, but like it's so fascinating that we spend a lot of our time trying to figure out all the interesting weird things we can do with the brain and like how we can like demonstrate that we're both here and we kind of got really into it. Yeah, like last month we were working on it a lot to like figure out, you know, everything. But we would also like a doctor to help us figure everything out as well. And, and the other thing is like when we hear disorder or the word disorder, we jump on, we jump on it like, oh, it's a bad thing or that it's, it's disordering your life, that it's but it's actually the best thing that's ever happened to me. Like, I wouldn't give it up for the world now that I have it. We're going to have like a, a donate button or like a, a Patreon. Yeah. Cause we, we would like to, we would like to, yeah, we'd really like to do this. Like it's already exploded into a full-time job. Me. 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 <laughs> Malingering. Malingering is falsification or profound exaggeration of illness, physical or mental, to gain external benefits such as avoiding work or responsibility, seeking drugs, avoiding trial, seeking attention, 
avoiding military services, leave from school, paid leave from a job, among other. Malingering is associated with an antisocial personality disorder and histronic personality trait. To get an external secondary gain, the individual fakes an illness that can be of physical or psychological nature. The patient consciously lies about his or her condition to get a benefit, and upon achieving the benefit, they stop complaining. No medicine or intervention can cure malingerers. Upon detailed history, the malingerer may exhaust their excuses and give up. Factitious disorder is a serious mental disorder in which someone deceives others by appearing sick, by purposely getting sick, or by self-injury. Factitious disorder can also happen when family members or caregivers falsely present others, such as children, as being ill, injured, or impaired. Factitious disorder symptoms can range from mild, light exaggeration of symptoms, to severe, previously called Munchausen syndrome. The person may make up symptoms or even tamper with medical tests to convince others that treatment, such as high-risk surgery, is needed. Factitious disorder is not the same as inventing medical problems for practical benefit, such as getting out of work or winning a lawsuit. Although people with factitious disorder know they're causing their symptoms or illnesses, they may not understand the reason for their behaviors or recognize themselves as having the problem. Factitious disorder is challenging to identify and hard to treat. However, medical and psychiatric help are critical for preventing serious injury and even death caused by the self-harm typical of this disorder. James and I are now both medically confirmed to exist by a professional with 12 years of schooling and a career of mental disorders. Also, it goes to the point of them confirming a diagnosis on the phone, which again is crazy to me. Imagine having an illness like, say, cancer or something, and you get diagnosed on the phone. There's a, there is a lump there, yes. I, I definitely have it. I don't have to come in. Like, this whole thing is crazy to me. So her being so obsessed with DID, now when she has a doctor on the phone and he's asking her these questions, well, he knows exactly what to say. She's done her research, right? Get any answer she wants. So tell me, Jesse, do you feel like there's someone else living in you? Yes. I also like that in one part of the video as well, she just straight out says she doesn't work well with other adults. Really not safe. <laughs> Around other human beings. Yeah, really not safe. Like, I'm... I can be a little too innocent and trusting and um well it's been like really obvious over the over the past five years that i don't really i can't really compete with other adults because they're yeah. they, they have too much experience over me and i've like just tried to manage and survive and I've, I've done a good job of it yeah you've done an excellent job yeah you've done an absolutely amazing job of dodging the parents from the kids who you've been trying to make money off from your adult websites such a great job but in all honestly the first bit of the video is kind of boring it's just 30 minutes of her talking to the doctor answer for you anything that uh, anything else that, that that family have been asking about that you weren't or other people that you weren't sure how you wanted had to respond to no i i think i think that's it i the second part of the video well that's where it starts to become really interesting i take full responsibility for what took place on my discord server it was my responsibility to keep everyone safe on that server and while i tried my best to keep people safe ultimately my best was not good enough i had good intentions i wanted to build a neurodivergent acceptance movement where everyone could learn debate educate share and befriend others like them and connect and engage in discussion with vetted medical professionals to improve treatment for all of us but as the saying goes hell is full of good intentions and heaven is full of good works i did not do a good work apparently not because that's not even how the saying goes oh my god i failed you i failed myself i failed james and i failed the did community and i own my failure do you really though because as you guys are gonna see from this video that we're about to watch i really don't feel as if she owns her failure but let's try and break it down step by step first starting with her actual apology i had come out of denial with my did only a month before and joined completely blind to the community as a whole without understanding fully tiktok or discord or how careful you had to be uh in spaces with minors if you think my goal was to advertise my adult content, you are 
Right. I mean, look, I know I'm not the most active on my Discord, but to have no idea that there would probably be people under the age of 18, hell, even 16, that's not even me just not realizing and being a bit silly. I mean, I was literally going out of my way to ignore that because of course there would be. Wait, what? Teenagers use the internet? I had no idea. Also, I really like how all the memes with kids these days being on TikTok, but yet Jesse and James had no idea that kids were using TikTok. It just seems very fake to me, like not plausible that you'd really consider that. I think what's more plausible is the fact that you did realize that, but you said, Meh, oh well, a dollar is a dollar. Here is my adult content. Subscribe. I have been trying to escape sex work for the last year. And ever since James came out of dormancy, my adult work has been violating and non-consensual. I had hoped to build a wholesome online career, goofing around with my soulmate and finally leave this traumatic career behind me. So what better way to do that than massively hint at your online content on your live streams? Passionate about helping kids love and accept themselves with this disorder and put an end. I don't really understand what's going on here because a minute ago you were just telling us that you didn't know kids use the internet. Now you're telling us you were trying to help kids on the internet. Meaning that you probably knew there were kids on the internet. You see why I'm finding this kind of hard to follow now? I also take full responsibility for the release of our timeline, which put family members, including my 90 year old grandmother, at risk of being doxxed and harassed. Going public in the way that I did put my entire family at risk and I jeopardized their safety by not being smart about the information I released on the internet to appease my detractors. I was so desperate to be believed after years of not having my own existence believed that I hurt my own family. To my family, I am deeply, deeply, deeply sorry. So your family are upset because you went public with all of this. What better way to apologize than doing it publicly. Your assumptions about me, my disorder, my intentions, my past, and the contents of my character have been proven wrong time and time again. If you could not even get the simplest, most prominent aspect of me correct, that I have DID and I have good intentions, then you have no credibility to judge any aspect of my life or my past or who I am as a person. You created an open forum that at its heart, exposing Jesse as a fake and a fraud, fake claimed a vulnerable child abuse and domestic abuse victim with severe DID using armchair psychiatry, concern trolling, fossil digging, gatekeeping, supporting rumor, suspicion, and speculation of my character and providing a toxic den of pinned medical misinformation. Hold up a second. I thought this was supposed to be an apology video. Why does it feel like the way she's addressing us, we're going to be coming out with our own apology video soon. I do like how these apology videos start with, I'm really sorry that I did all these bad things. You know, and they were bad. The way she's talking about it, making it sound like, oh, brushing it over, like it was kind of nothing. Yes, I know I did. Something that could quite literally send me to jail, but I don't know, I did a oopsie. But you guys, you pieces of trash. <laughs> then comes at us. You had good intentions, but you did not do a good work. And if you can't take responsibility for your actions and being wrong, and actively enabling a toxic, scientifically misinformed, anecdotal witch hunt, allowing hate groups to quietly feed off of your posts and comments that directly endangered my life and my family's lives, despite your good intentions. To help others, then I will take responsibility on your behalf. I find this all very rich coming from somebody that has made all these exact same mistakes over the past year. You know what I mean? While watching this, it almost seems like she could have probably taken some of her own advice here. And the little comment at the end telling us she's going to take responsibility on our behalf. Even though I feel like she should have definitely taken far more responsibility herself. La, la, la. But then, while editing this video, I found something pretty interesting. So, let's go back to her YouTube channel. She uploads a video two weeks ago. 
The title is called, We're Going to School for Neuroscience. Happy face. Well, this is brilliant. Now she can make one hour apology videos while lecturing us with a degree. Fantastic news, I thought. But then it got even better because Jesse and James will be going to school engaged with each other. We're doing it as fiance. That's right. Jesse has engaged to James. So what did I do? I screamed at the top of my lungs, of course. Jesse and James are in love and I don't care who knows it. And then I rushed downstairs and I told my family the good news. Everybody had to hear this. Jesse and James. I tried telling my family about this big news, but they just didn't seem to care. I got quite angry trying to explain how big of a story this is and that everybody will be excited on YouTube. My parents just looked at me confused. Tch, singlets, I said. Guys, don't fall for this. This is clearly a video that they've made to make us completely forget about all the horrific things they done last year. Normal people would get arrested for the things that she's done, but she says that she's getting engaged to herself and, and somehow now everything is okay. <laughs> Honestly, for today's video, we've come to an end. You know me, boys and girls. I like to keep you updated, especially when these types of videos do well. Please share this one around as it does help spread the word at least to make sure that Jesse and James can't do the same stuff that they have previously done. And also makes the point of please don't fall for this or send them money or forgive them. They are 35 years of age. They know what they're doing. But anyway, boys and girls, I hope you did enjoy today's video. Nonetheless, kind of curious. How are you guys finding these new videos? Let me know in the comments down below. I spent a lot of time on these. Too much time, probably. I haven't seen sunlight for days. But anyway, boys and girls, hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video, which, which is actually going to be a banger. I got an amazing idea for the next one. So keep your eyes open for that. Bye. Thank <music> you.